Hello, Darcy here, uh, Timber Frame Workshop. Today we're going to do a drill versus mortiser example. So uh, uh, I, use, I used to use a drill when I first got into timber framing to do my mortises and uh, eventually I was able to upgrade to the mortiser in the machine, um, which is a very awesome machine. However, that is $7,000 and that is, well, $80 at a pawn shop, $250 new. So do the math. Good way to get started. And just as effective, just a little more work. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to it here. So I'm going to subscribe some lines and I'll start, uh, I'll start off with the drill. And we'll do the drill first and then we'll follow up with more, sir. Okay, I do uh, plunge cuts for all the start of my mortises. So uh, the way it's an easier way to kind of make sure that you carry your lines through. It's kind of an interesting method, but ever I'm going to do some plunge cuts. Go from there. I'm going to do both mortises at the same time here. So. nice bit, it's uh, one and three quarter, and I have a drill extension here so you can get a little deeper. Otherwise you'll only be able to get like two inches which is no good for a tenon as we like to do normally around four inches. Um, make sure it's nice and sharp and hang on because this thing uh, gives a bit of a jerk. Perfect. All right, here's our mortiser. Uh, this is a, uh, a Muffel chain mortiser LS 1030E. It's a badass machine. That was uh, 
drill versus mortising machine. So as you can see, you can do it both ways. Uh, this takes five minutes, that takes less than a minute. So before you go out and buy a $7,000 machine, maybe put your time in with the, uh, the drill. And, uh, and when you amp up production, or if you get to the point where you really need to do a lot of production, then uh, I highly recommend the Moffel. So that's about it, folks. Have fun. Happy, happy timber framing.